Drew, that's great. Really? Oh, I just can't believe it. Really? Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. <clears throat> What was that all about? Really? <laughs> really? Stop. That was what? Drew. Well, what was it? yeah. It's all set. What is? He can arrange the money for us. Isn't that great? He can arrange all he wants. We're not taking it. This is it. This has got to last you for the week, so don't spend it all on lunch. I'm sure I won't be able to resist the fine dining cuisine at Bay City High. You probably have the same dietitians as when you went there. Possibly. They have the same food. The to the surprise lives in my memory. You're acting as though I'm sending you to the salt mines. This isn't going to work. This is not going to work. Honey, it is. It is going to work. And you're the one who's going to do all the work. Great. Dad, I didn't know you were going to be home this morning. I'm sorry, I don't know. Things are just impossible. Matthew, what are you doing here? You're busy. Uh, we can talk about it later. No, we'll talk about it now. Why Why aren't you in school? Oh, Mr. Corey, you are here. There's a gentleman from McGregor Trust on the telephone. Oh, no, Donald. I told him to give me 24 hours. Let me put him off. No, no, no. Better not. Rachel, I... It's all right. You deal with her, Donald. I'll deal with Mr. Corey. We are gonna talk. Uh, good seeing you, Mac. Well, I'm gonna go. Oh, darling, just one more thing. Um, you've used up all your chances, so don't blow it. Have a nice day. Exit. No, I don't want exit. Like you exited the subset when you hit the return. Mm. Is that what you were looking for? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't really need to do this now, so. You don't have to leave just because I came in. I'm not doing that. Well, we can't still work together. Things have changed. Because you know. Because you know how I feel about you. I don't think this is going to work. This shouldn't take too long. I don't think we'll have to wait. Don't worry about it, okay? All right. Your boss isn't going to mind that you're being Look, late for work. Amanda, I don't care what he thinks. I'm going to hear our child's heartbeat today, okay? Hello, you two. Hi. Hey, I'm Jamie. Here for Hi. Checkup. How's it going? Um, just. Great. Yeah, me, I have heartburns and cravings. <laughs> that sounds par for the course. <laughs> Ricky? Hi. Hi. Hi, I didn't think I'd be seeing you here. Oh, sure, still doing the volunteer work, you know. Hi, Sam, Hi. Jamie. Hi. Look, we better get going. Our appointment's at 10.30. Right. Okay. Um, say, did Mom ask you to come to the party tonight for a few Yeah, I'm gonna try and make it. Yeah. Okay, okay. great. I'm looking forward to seeing Lisa. It's been a while. Yeah, well, I'm not too sure she'll be there. Well, um... We'll look forward to seeing both of you. Yeah. You gotta go. Bye. Bye. Take it easy. Bye. Well, uh, I better be getting to my magazine card. Not so fast. I want to talk to you. Somebody doesn't sound very happy. Somebody isn't. My fault. You put that watch in my pocket. Uh, that's why you're mad at me? I told you I couldn't accept it. Oh, Jamie, I give up. What are you, what are you talking about, you give up? I come in 
to a little bit of wealth and I try to share it with somebody that has been very nice to me. I mean, why don't you just shoot me at sunrise? Oh, Vicky. I'm serious, Jamie. It's like everything I do is wrong. It's not that it was wrong. Well, it's, then it's... what was it? A watch. A... It's very personal. Oh, well, forgive me. I'll return that and get you a little, uh, shoe shine kit. <laughs> you don't have to get me anything. Obviously. If I did anything for you, it's because I like you. And I don't expect something in return. Did you talk to Lisa this morning? Why? Oh, I was just wondering if uh, she was the cause of your attitude today. Well, I'm not, not even sure where she is. Well, I'm sorry <clears throat> if I have created any problem Yeah, well, you. I'm sure you didn't mean to. Jamie, I, I just want you to know that I appreciate what you do, that's all. I know. But you don't have to slip things into my pocket. I knew I would mess it up. You didn't mess anything up. Jamie, it's... It's just that I would really hate it if you stopped being my friend. You haven't, have you? What are you doing? We got to talk about this. I can't. You can't or you won't? How come things never go in a straight line? What do you mean? If... Vicky wanted Jamie, and Jamie wanted Vicky, and that's all there was to it. I think I could handle this. Did you see Jamie last night? He thinks he's doing everything to make this right. And he's not doing everything. No, this is all my doing. Says who? <laughs> Jamie says I don't trust him. Rachel says I don't fight hard enough. And you... me. You're always here and you're nice to me. And I have to leave. Lisa. Lisa. Adam, I don't think we can work together. I, I really don't. Lisa, please. understand you. Obviously. Every time I try to solve our financial problems, you act like I've stabbed you in the back. That's not true. Not true? If anyone offers to help us, you act like they're trying to take over. Oh, that's what I said about Liz. It's not what I said about Drew Boy. You haven't said anything but no. Now, Drew can help us. He can help you. Oh, Cass, we're partners. For how much longer? Oh, you know, this is absurd. You're just jealous. What is absurd about that? I walk in on you, an attractive man, with whom, as it turns out, you've been intimate. He fa he's falling all over you. He offers to solve all your problems, and you find it hard to understand that I'd like him to drop dead. I just wish you would grow up. Really? How would you like it if I brought in Yvette and told you I want to make her a partner? Yvette? You wouldn't like that at all, trust me. Especially since Yvette would do anything she could, and I do mean anything, to help me. Who's Yvette? Oh, it's th that's not important. It's the principle of the thing. No, who's Yvette? Why haven't you told me about her? She was a long time ago, and she's been away for years. Now she's back? Just for a year. But you're not, you don't understand the point I'm trying to make here. So you've seen her again, right? Yvette. Is she French? Swiss. A professional skier and model and linguist. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Then what's she doing in Bay City, huh? We don't have any mountains. The design industry obviously isn't taking off. And we all talk the same language, Cass. Why does this upset you? Oh, if you invented her to teach me a lesson... The mere mention of her name got you crazy. Just think, I had to watch Drew slobber all over you. He doesn't slobber. Look, why don't we explore other avenues of financing before we let this Drew boy come between us? Maybe you're right. Oh, I love it when you talk like that. But Ooh. other... Stop. Other avenues of financing means serious, sober investors. Yes. Yes, none of your schemes and none of your cronies named after fish. No. no. So you call Drew boy and tell him that everything is off, and I'll solve all our problems. Oh. I break into a cold sweat whenever you say that. Don't worry about a thing. <sighs> hey, 
At least he gets jealous. Hmm. Well, if we can't use Drew, that doesn't mean I have to leave things up to Cass now, does it? Hi. It's me. Oh, fine, fine. How are things going with you? Marlena Evans from Medicine. Your pulse is racing. To marriage. I love you, Marlena. Motherhood. It's all your fault. To mind control. From multiple personalities. To murderer. I knew it was you. You're flat out of luck. Now you can keep up with Days of Our Lives at night. Tonight at 7 on SoapNet. Gotta get rid of this headache fast. The moment of choice, Tylenol or Advil? Which will relieve that headache faster? Truth is, Advil liquid gels will. These advanced liquid-filled capsules work faster, stronger, better than Tylenol on tough headaches. Gentle on your stomach, too. For faster headache relief, advance to Advil relief. Problem as old as leftovers, finding the right lid for the bowl. Not to mention finding enough storage space for all your storage containers. Well, snap out of it. And keep it together with new SnapSaver, the no-brainer container. SnapSaver is the first storage solution that actually keeps the right lid with the right bowl and keeps your container collection under control. Just snap the lid to the bottom of the bowl. Snap on as many lids as you want. Then stack the bowls inside each other for totally organized, space-saving storage. You'll never have to look for a lid again. Just snap and stack. It's a no-brainer. The big container corporations must never have to put away their own leftovers because not one of them has come up with a convenient way to store bowls with lids. You end up switching bowls and making a mess. You give up and go with plastic wrap. And when that fails, you throw away your money on disposables. Really, isn't making a meal and cleaning up enough work? Call toll-free to get your three-bowl SnapSaver set for just $19.95. Do it today and get a second set of three free. You'll also get the SnapSaver cookbook, how to turn leftovers into tasty, time-saving meals free with your paid order. That's a total of six SnapSaver bowls with attachable lids plus the leftover cookbook, all for $19.95. You'll never look for a lid again. We guarantee it. What have you got to lose? Certainly not the lid. Throw your old containers a retirement party, because you won't find this patented storage solution anywhere but SnapSaver. And you can't get SnapSaver in any store. There's only one way to stop losing your lid and start saving time, space, and money. Call right now for SnapSaver, the no-brainer container. Call 800-434-0909 to order SnapSaver, and you get a second set free with your paid order for the amazing price of only $19.95. We'll also include the leftover cookbook absolutely free. Never look for a lid again with SnapSaver, the no-brainer container. Container. Call now. Is all that McGregor stuff at the office, too? Yeah, I'll call Julianne and she'll have it on your desk by the time we get Mac. there. Sorry, darling. You going back to the office? I have to. This takeover attempt is gaining momentum. Are you worried? Oh, Mac, I'll wait in the car. Thank you, Zach. I just can't dismiss it anymore. It's a real threat. I could lose Corey Publishing. Mac! Not without a fight, Rachel. Don't yes, get Yes, but this company has been in your family for years. You've made it. You've made it what it is today. That's part of the problem. I've made it so successful, now they want to take it right out from under me. That can't happen. Well, I was hoping it'd be a legacy for our children, but speaking of children, why is Matthew here? Oh, um, that's pretty involved. Uh, don't worry, he didn't do anything. But why? I've taken care of it. Um, the trip up to school was sudden, but it was necessary. It's all right. We'll talk about it later. I'll get back as soon as I can. Okay, don't forget, tonight is Mom's surprise party. Oh, right. No, I'll make it. Is Ada moving in now? Well, she's moved a few of her things in. It's nice having her here all the time. I agree. Oh, I missed you so much. Will you get home soon, okay? I'll try, darling. Hey, 
It's just so peaceful here. Something is missing. Loretta. She had a trip to Chicago today. Just for the day. Well, darling, she's not here that much. I mean, she visits with Amanda and Sam, and she's become friends with Felicia, and then there's Howard. That's just what I mean. She's settling in, Rachel. Well, not tonight. Tonight, it's just for family. Wonderful. I'm going to try very hard. I promise right. you to be here. I love you, sweetheart. I love you. I'm sorry. Oh, why our transfer student seems to have stumbled. Yeah, our transfer student seemed to have been pushed. Hey, I bet you never had students like us at the Winston Prep School, huh? Oh, hey, very impressive this morning in English literature. I mean, your views, they're so advanced. Yeah, well, I read this textbook last term, guys. We saw the movie. You all are so impressive. I just can't figure out who's the most mature. Oh, Will, we've disappointed Tina again. See, Tina thinks we're not serious enough. Well, um, like I was saying, guys, you know, I can't decide between the pre-law at Harvard or the two years in the Peace Corps. <laughs> sort of wrong. Very funny. You know, it's terrible someone so cute as that can have no sense of humor at all. Um, a sense of humor isn't everything. <laughs> That was incredible. I know. I mean, it was it was so loud and so fast. Hey, look at healthy kid. Yeah, there's really somebody down there, isn't there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, isn't it kind of odd to think that something that we didn't plan, we almost couldn't even know if we wanted, can make us so happy. Yeah. I was writing my article the other day. And the baby kicked. I thought, this is it. This is having it all. Yeah, we sure do, don't we? <laughs> I just wish that you weren't driving that cab. Come on, Amanda. Hey. Dr. The baby is fine. Dr. Davis, you Dr. are fine. I have never been happier in my whole life. Okay. Miss Jamie. Oh, hey, can you just wait a minute? I'm going to go talk sure. to you. Sure. Thanks. Dr. Flair, Dr. Flair. Oh, hi, hi. How'd the uh, checkup go? Great. I gained three pounds in three weeks, but other than that, everything's fine. Oh, way to go, Mama. How That's are great. with you? Fine. Fine. Mom told me that you're staying with Jason. Yeah, for now. Yeah. And then you said something about... Maybe not bringing Lisa to the party tonight? What's going on? Are you two having problems or what? Well, that's nothing serious. Then why aren't you going to bring her to the party? Well, I would, if I could find her. I've called all over the place and I uh, just can't seem to locate her. Oh, is that all? Listen, sis, don't worry about it, okay? Oh, I'm not worried. <laughs> it's just that, uh, you know, a creep like you isn't going to find anybody <laughs> better than Lisa. Thanks a lot. I agree. <laughs> I'm going to go call her right now again. Okay. Bye. Bye. Is everything okay? Yeah, it seems, seems like it. Great. Let's go. Daddy. Hey, that's right. All right, Mom. <laughs> Mom. 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 I like that. Mom. I'm looking for Dr. Frame. Have you seen him? From Walt Disney Pictures, here at Patch of Heaven, they're a family. Don't go near any luau's. On April 2nd, they're going to auction off Patch of Heaven.
They're saving more than a farm. Maybe we can help you. They're saving their home. Featuring new music from the composer of Aladdin and Beauty and the Beast. We've got a farm to save. With songs performed by Katie Lang, Bonnie Raitt, and Tim McGraw. You go, cowgirl. Walt Disney Pictures, Home on the Range. Rated PG in theaters April 2nd. Say, girls. God milk. <laughs> SoapNet, the new way to watch soaps. Introducing Canmore Refrigerators with pure, ultimate water filtration. No one else has it. A built-in pure water filter gives you bottled water quality through the door. And that includes ice, too. In short, Canmore brings your family a better drink of water. So come in today and ask about Canmore with Pure. Kenmore, ideas for the good life, only at Sears. Life is a work of art, unless you have allergy eyes. Itchy, red, watery. You may need an allergy eye drop. Call now to get a free trial offer and a $10 rebate on a prescription medication that can treat all your eye allergy symptoms. Patinol. Just one drop in each eye twice a day. In minutes, you start to feel relief. There's a low incidence of headache, burning, or stinging. Wait 10 minutes before putting in contact lenses. So call this number today for an informative booklet and a $10 rebate. See your doctor about a free trial offer. Patinol Solution. Call now for fast relief of all your eye allergy symptoms. Ask your doctor about adding a drop. Patinol. Relief is in sight. Roses are red. Violets are blue. Violets are red. Violets are blue. Violets are blue. sugar, you can use Splenda, the no-calorie sweetener that's made from sugar, so it tastes like sugar. And you can even bake with it. Tasting is believing, so call 1-800-862-4826 for your free sample of Splenda. How did your last diet fail? If you're over 30, overstressed, and overweight, take a look in the mirror. You've got excess body fat around your waist, hips, and belly, right? Well, diet failure is not your fault. The problem is cortisol, a nasty little stress hormone that traps excess fat around the middle. But now, there's Relicor. Relicor helps control cortisol and helps us lose stubborn belly fat fast. If you're dieting and still plagued by unsightly belly bulge, even if you're low-carb dieting, there's only one Relicor. Relicor helps you get thinner, look younger, and have energy to burn. Remember, when you're over 30, overstressed, and want to get rid of stubborn belly fat, the answer is Relicor. Order Relicor now. It's easy. You'll love it. Order Relicor risk-free. Call 1-800-766-1436. That's 1-800-766-1436. Call now. It's guaranteed. I've been a Nimrod since 1938. I have two daughters. They're both Nimrods. We have 78 high school students. We have 19 boys out for our high school basketball team, and they're all proud to be Waters Meet Nimrods. Everybody looks forward to basketball games. We love them here. Go Nimrod! Dr. Frame? The only thing I've seen today is patience. Busy, huh? Yeah. Uh, uh. Okay, Mrs. Pushkin, just one minute. I'll be right there. Uh, could I leave him a note, please? Sure, a note. Yeah, right. Okay, here's the uh, envelope. Here's the paper. Thanks, just, I, thanks. There's a pencil. Just, when, you, when you finish, just, just put it sure, in the box Great. 
Thanks, Scott. And thank you for responding so quickly. Ah, well, actually, you should thank Zach. Or maybe I should thank Zach. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. He uh, thought it'd be a good idea if I got back to work. I did, and it was a good idea. Oh, that's good. I need to know where I stand with my trust fund. You think you might be needing it? Yeah, maybe. And you want to know the current status of it, right? All right. Uh, What's wrong? It's not good, is it? Seems the money was transferred into a small company. Yeah. And the company is in Chapter 11 right now. That means it's bankrupt. Yes, and that doesn't make any sense because the company was very stable before this. When was the money transferred to that company? I believe it was in January. Yeah. Right after my fight with Reginald. But that doesn't explain why Surprise, they... surprise. Do you think he planned this? Oh, it's perfect. He said he was leaving me absolutely nothing, which was all I ever wanted from him. Nicole, I'm sorry. He's still trying to beat me, but I won't let him win. I just won't. No, I'll be here all day. Just call immediately, anytime, no matter what time. Right. I'm surprised you had time to see me, Mac. You seem pretty busy. Yeah, I am, Cass, but I wanted to talk to you anyway. Talk to me. I'm not going to beat around the bush. How would you like your old job back? You're offering me my job back here. That's right. But this is... Uh, I already know how well you can do it, because you've done it. Yeah, but why me? I mean, there are lawyers coming out of the woodwork these days. People out there these days, people attempting this takeover, they have unethical, unscrupulous methods. Oh, and you want someone who can think like they and maybe even, hopefully, beat them at their own game? You got it. <laughs> Same salary? More. Much more if you stave off this takeover attempt. Well, gee, Mac, this is very challenging and it sounds very appealing, but it also includes long hours and lots of work. Uh, I take it the answer is no. Well, with my present business commitment, I don't see how I can do it. I'm sorry, Mac. It's okay, Cass. Worth a shot anyway. Oh, yeah. Now, what do you have? Well, actually, I, I was here... Uh, I, I was wondering if you had any idea when the royalties would start coming in on Kathleen's book. Oh, that should be late summer at the earliest. Why? Oh. Does that give you a problem? Well, actually, uh, Nicole and I came by a few days ago when you weren't in, and uh, we wanted to uh, approach you about it. Excuse me? Sure. Corey. Will you tell him where he can put his offer? Right. I'm sorry, it looks like I'm back in business again. Was there something else? Um... Well, tell him that our lawyers in San Francisco are filing this afternoon. No, nothing else. Yes, this afternoon, because that office has its own charter. Right. Time for plan B. You're watching Another World. It's every woman for herself. Dynasty is next. Only on SoapNet. Garden Claw, one of America's favorite garden tools, is good as gold. It adjusts to fit gardeners of all sizes. Garden Claw Gold helps you cultivate, loosen, aerate, and weed without being tough on your back. The Claw's steel tines tear through all kinds of soil, even clay, bringing moisture and oxygen to plants' roots. And it turns weeds and leaves into beneficial mulch. Garden Claw Gold makes a great gift. At Home Depot, Kmart, Sears Hardware, Lowe's, and participating Ace True Value and Do It Best Hardware stores. We should save this. He made the cake. <laughs> this is for me, Mom. It's something you've always wanted. It's your report card. I thought you'd like it. This moment brought to you by Sylvan Learning Center. I spent hours doing homework. Then I got help from Sylvan. We call our approach the Sylvan Advantage. It's a proven process that works. We begin by identifying your child's specific needs, followed by individual attention and personalized lesson plans from highly trained and certified teachers who just love teaching. And progress reports for you every step of the way. If your child is struggling or just not being challenged enough, call Sylvan at 1-800-EDUCATE. Now, homework's no problem. Call this number today. The skills to do better in school, the confidence to do better in everything else. Sylvan. Learning feels good. Pre 
years, we've been taking you to places like this and showing you the heartbreak. The children whose only mistake was being born poor. 27,000 died last night. But thousands more lived because of sponsors who made a difference in their lives and sometimes actually saved them. We know you thought about it. Put it on a nice to-do list, but somehow never got around to it. Even though the phone's right there and the call's free, maybe it kind of gets lost in how busy you are. Maybe you're just taking your time. But Breder and his friends don't have till the 12th of never. They need you today. And you're not busy right this moment, so why not now? It's not the 80 cents a day, is it? Sponsoring a child, clean water, healthy food, a doctor to see, finally a school to go to? It's the best thing that can happen to three quarters and a nickel. And it's not like you feel bad after you do it. You'll feel great about sponsoring a kid every day you get up. And you don't have to worry about Christian children's fund. 80 cents of every dollar that comes in goes right out to help these children. So why not now? So why not now? Know what I think it is? I think you just forgot the number. So here it is. Christian Children's Fund is one of America's oldest and most trusted child sponsorship charities. For over 60 years, we're how people like you get together with children who need someone like you. So why not now? Call now. We'll send you a picture of a child who needs you. Ooh, I'll take it. Oh. <laughs> Donna, I didn't hear you come in. Oh, I am serious. I really like that. Oh, I hate it. It looks like Charo going to a business meeting. <sighs> well, you're not in a very good mood, are you? No, I'm not. Would you like some? Uh, no. No, thank you. Why don't you tell me what's wrong? Oh, it's just business, you know? No, I don't know. I happen to think it's more than just business. Come on now, tell me. Oh, Donna, with everything you've been through... Look, Nicole, please, everyone has been treating me with kid gloves. I don't need that from you, not my sister. Now, come on, just talk to me. Donna, I can't believe it. Do you know what he did? Who? Reginald. What? He scuttled my trust fund. Oh, honey, no. Oh, I, look, I know it's nothing. I mean, nothing at all compared to what he did to you. No. But it's just, I mean, no, this you know, is... No, I, I don't even think it's what he did to us. I think it's the fact that our father set out to hurt us. You know, sometimes if I think about it, it just... Well, it stops me. I know. I mean, I feel if I don't fight and fight and fight, I'll just stop and stare out the window. You know, sometimes I, um, I think he's won. Oh, no. No, you and Michael are going to start over? Well, he can't do anything more to you. He has. Nicole, um, I've been advised that I shouldn't try to have any more children. Oh. You know, you don't really know what this is doing to Michael. Well, what is, is he pulling away from you? Oh, no. No, it's not that. On the contrary, he's just like you. He's just going to fight it and fight it. Oh, well, that's good, isn't it? Well, I, I, I don't know when we're talking about getting remarried. He's just so hurt by all of this, and he, and, and he won't admit it. And, it. and I know he wants more children, but, but he said it doesn't make a difference, that everything's going to be just fine. Well, it will be. You'll work things out after you get married. No. No, I told him I wouldn't remarry him. But it's only one o'clock in San Francisco. You've got four hours yet. We can't do it here because we don't have the time. We cannot meet that deadline. You've got to do it. All right, and let me know when it's done. Right. Julianne, please get me. Oh, never mind, Julianne. Uh, I'll call you back. It's a bad time, isn't it? Adam, is there a problem? Well, I was just in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop. Uh, you're busy. Look, just forget that I was... Adam, even... Adam, please sit down. I'm 
sorry, Mac. I just don't know who else to talk to. Right. Julianne, would you hold all my calls and divert all takeover calls to Zach? Thank you. What is it, Adam? Lisa. What'd she do? Well, I'm not sure she did anything. It's what I've done. I've been having feelings about her that I... Well, I just don't think I'm supposed to have. Because she's Jamie's girl, well, that stands to reason. You two work very closely together. Yeah, well, <clears throat> that may be a thing of the past. What happened? I confronted Jamie. I confronted him about the way he's been treating Lisa. Lisa found out about the conversation, and then she was furious with me. I think she feels... Well, she feels like people are pressuring her. And... From what I understand from Rachel, it's Victoria Hudson who is at the center of this problem. Vicky's part of it, but Jamie's part of it, too. You mean because you don't think he's doing enough to make her back off? He doesn't see it, Mac. You know, I don't understand this. What... <laughs> Why didn't he do something? I mean, I would. Well, maybe you should have your talk with Jamie. I tried. And? Jamie wants to do what Jamie wants to do, and it doesn't care about anybody else. He doesn't even care how this might even hurt Lisa. Maybe he doesn't know. Maybe she's not talking to him. Maybe she's only talking to you. Yeah, and you know where that puts me. Right in the middle. Well, you get yourself out of the middle because this simply is not your problem. This is up to Lisa and Jamie. <sighs> Rachel called me this morning. Uh, she said something about a party for Ada this evening. That's right. You can make it, can't you? Jamie and Lisa going to be there? <sighs> Adam, Jamie and you are both members of this family. Look, whatever is happening between Jamie and Lisa... You got to think about your problem. That's what you've got to work out. Well, I just don't want to ruin it for Ada in the process, you know. Don't worry. There are going to be a lot of tensions at this party. Matthew's home from boarding school. I haven't gotten to Rachel about the details, but I'm sure he's in trouble. This could be a party to remember. I just hope he hasn't been expelled. I didn't know you were so interested in debate. Yeah, it's my passion. Obviously. Seldom has anyone joined up so quickly just to be a timekeeper. Oh, a heady responsibility. Yeah, well, you have to be a timekeeper before you can actually get in there and debate, you know? Oh, and the topic this year, what is it? Uh, SDI or Star Wars? Oh, he doesn't seem to know the topic, Will. Well, then why did he join, Chris? Could it have something to do with, uh, the captain? Of the debating team? Now, what was her name? Uh, uh, let's Tina? See. The beautiful ice princess Tina? Right. That's right. You know, it's not going to help. Okay, you joining the debate team, it's not going to get you any closer. No, no, no. But just wait till she sees how serious I am, how dedicated. No, no. You don't understand, man. Tina is just interested in herself and her time cards. That's it. <laughs> and in the meantime, you'll be the transfer student who knows all the answers and join the debate team. Not an auspicious beginning. I should say not. We're yes. talking Saturday night alone with your video games, man. Is this supposed to be peer pressure? <laughs> oh, oh, Matt, hey, look. We're trying to help you out. See, we're gonna let you hang out with us so this way you don't look like a jerk. Hey, women will be crawling all over you in attempt to get to us. <laughs> oh, yeah, and what's in it for you guys, huh? These yuppie types, they're so cynical. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait. You're making, you're, you're asking me to believe that you guys are gonna do this out of the kindness of your hearts? Come on, give me a break, man. All right, look, I've been trying to get a date with Becky Niemler, and her friend Kathy wants to meet you, so, you know, I thought it would work out. So, come on, what do you say, huh? We'll meet in the parking lot? Uh, no, I can't, guys. Oh, wait, Corey. You're not trying to snub us now, are you? No, it's just I have other plans. Such as? Mm. Well, uh, let's see. Tina's going to come over tonight, that's right. And we're going to go over the timekeeper's manual. Yeah, you know. Well, look, got to go, fellas. Take care. <laughs> Tina's supposed to come over my house, man, and look at the etchings. Got to go. Funny, man. Any 
Eva, what do you think? These flowers look pretty here? No, Vicki, I think they will be in everybody's way right there. Um, oh. Why don't you put them back there? Good idea. Back there. Oh, just getting some flowers out of the way. <laughs> oh, hand me Mrs. Uh, Fleming's chart, please. Mrs. Fleming. Here you go. Thank you. Anything else I can get for you? No, not for me. I'm on my way home. Ah, Jason cooking dinner tonight? No, uh, Mom's got some sort of family party rigged up. Oh, great. Sounds fun. Thank you. Good night. <laughs> Bye. -bye. I've decided that you were right. We need time apart. Everything has gotten so complicated. I'm going away and we'll return soon. Love, Lisa. And it's written in pencil, too. Almost too easy, Lisa. Alexis is the queen of survivors. But can she live through this? What's happened to my face? Give me a mirror. Find out. Dynasty today at four on SoapNet. <laughs> Gesundheit. <laughs> We're sorry you've got allergies. Maybe we can help. Medical studies prove Benadryl is more effective than the leading prescription allergy medicine. Histamine-blocking Benadryl is more effective at relieving allergy symptoms like runny nose, sneezing, itchy nose, and watery eyes. When allergies bloom, Benadryl's more effective than the leading prescription allergy medicine. Spark? You want to know where the spark went? I used to think sex life. Mm-hmm. That's gonna fit somewhere in between kids, work, cleaning, stress. Even if I was in the mood, I was just too tired. Well, that was before I heard about Aplomil. The ingredients in Aplomil have been shown to enhance libido and promote a healthier, more energetic love life. I tried it. I had passion. Who would have thought? Passion. Now you can receive a free 30-day sample cycle. Just call or go online today. I'd heard about Aplomil, but it was safe and natural. Introducing Aflamil, the non-prescription once daily supplement made just for women. So I tried it. That's when I started feeling intimate again. The ingredients in Aflamil have been shown to enhance libido and help maintain hormonal balance. I had desire, energy. I had passion. This is how I really am. I'm back to being me. Now you can receive a free 30-day sample cycle. Just call or go online today. Do you ever hear this from your child? I'm not reading anymore. I don't want to read. I don't like to read. Then it's time to help your child become a more confident reader. I felt terrible for her. Um, I was frustrated. She was frustrated. Don't wait. Call 1-800-ABC-DEFG. In four weeks, your child will be a better reader. Guaranteed. Nothing else has worked in the past. Hooked on Phonics worked. Have your credit card ready and call 1-800-ABC-DEFG in the next 10 minutes to get your child started for $59.95 and find out about free shipping. Call now. You got a good heart. Just a little slower than most. Radio watched life from the sidelines. See the young man over there? Until one man gave him a chance. Gonna be helping us out. Discover the passion to win. Don't quit! Don't quit! The power to change. We're not teaching radio. Radio is teaching us. And the courage to dream. I'm a better man than me. Cuba Gooding Jr., Ed Harris. Radio, inspired by a true story. Dr. Greg Cinnamon, and no offense to casual dieters, but if you only want to lose 5 to 10 pounds, then Cortislim is not for you. Cortislim is the weight loss capsules created by my associate, Dr. Talbot, for people who are disgusted with diets and quickly want to lose 15 pounds or more. Dr. Talbot's hormone research has been featured in Ladies Home Journal, Psychology Today, and Red Book. The conclusion? It's not your fault that you're overweight. Stress causes you to overproduce a fat-retaining hormone called cortisol, and it directs fat to be stored in cells around your tummy, thighs, and stomach. 
Non-prescription Cortislim controls cortisol, so you release those excess pounds. And Cortislim stifles your appetite while enhancing your metabolism so you eat less as you burn calories and shed inches. Drop 15 to 50 pounds with Cortislim. Call 1-800-738-1009. That's 1-800-738-1009. Call 1-800-738-1009. Oops. Yeah, uh, I've, I've always felt the most important function of the timekeeper was the two-minute mark, you know. We were in the state finals last year, and you couldn't get people to care. Mm. It was two yeah. minutes and 15 seconds, mm. one minute and 45 seconds. Mm. I was furious. It, it must have been. I, you can't Can't you? There are some people here to see you. Some people here to see me. Matthew, my man, nice of you to invite us. Invite you? Uh, I'll take care of this, Hilda. Tina, you will be glad to know that old Matthew over here is already boned up for the whole uh, topic. We got it. Got what? Star Wars, man. Oh. <laughs> oh, Matthew, man, I'm, I'm sorry. That's all right. Look, it's just a vase. 2,000 years old, but just a vase. Do you think the counseling will help? Well, I, uh, I certainly hope so. You know, I, I think Mary sees the same things that I do. That Michael just won't admit how much all of this bothers him. Well, Don, even if Michael does want to have more children, I mean, do you really think that should stop you from getting married? Look. You know Michael. He always wants to do the right thing. Nicole, he knows how much Reginald hurt me, how much he's hurt us. And he also knows how much I need him and how much I love him. So he wants to marry me because he thinks it's the right thing to do. Oh, Donna, he loves you. He loves you more than anything. No, I do know that. But I just feel like we have to get all of this out in the open because... I don't want, I don't want us to get married and then for him to, uh, to realize what he's given up afterwards. Maybe you're not ready to get married either. I never could put one over on you, could I? <laughs> no, I think it's just that, well, when I was pregnant, for the first time in my life, I really knew who I was. I mean, it, I felt so much stronger. It was so different. I had Michael. I had my family. I, I don't know. Right now, I just don't think it's a time to make any big decisions. You keep talking to me. Anytime you need to, okay? Okay. You can count on that. I know you understand. Well, I try. Mm -hmm. I just really don't think Michael realizes what this has done to us. And I, I have to be so careful about the things I say to him and how I say it. But you and I, I know we see things very clearly. Hmm. Yeah, sometimes I wish that weren't true. Yeah, me too. Hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me a minute. What? Okay, let's see here. Donna. I what told are you, doing? you. I told you that I liked that design. So I am leaving you. No, Donna, please don't no, be silly. Here. I'm here. Donna, no, no, no. This look, check is for way no, too much. Look, you wouldn't have asked me or told me about your trust fund if you didn't need the money. Yeah, but it's not your problem. No. Things are bad enough as they are. I don't want you to have to worry about something as stupid as money. And to think, when you were 14 years old, I hated you more than anything in the world. You <laughs> did. Thank you. Thank you know what? Let's just keep talking. I know things are going to get better. Yeah. No one's fought harder to be happy than you have, Donna. It's going to happen. That's what I keep telling myself.
great first day home, huh? No, you didn't even tell us why you're back so early. Yeah, I'm trying to fix the bathe situation. I cleaned up. Uh, but do you think anyone will notice? Matthew, you broke a priceless vase. It wasn't me. Okay, where did you put the pieces? In the trash compactor. Matthew! Oh, that is the most expensive trash compactor in the United States. Well, I just can't do anything right today. Uh, hello, everybody. Hey, it's Jamie. Matthew, I didn't know you were home. Yeah, it was just one of those last-minute things that came in. Yeah. Where's Mom? She's upstairs getting ready. Where's Lisa? Uh, she couldn't, uh, she couldn't make it. She's okay, isn't she? Yeah. It's who okay? Lisa. You know where she is? No, Jamie, I don't. Oh, she didn't tell good. me. Oh, good. Everybody's almost here. Hi, Mom. Yeah, how are you doing? Mm -hmm. Where's Lisa? Uh, she couldn't make it. I'm sorry. Hi, Adam. How are you doing? Hi. Mm. And Amanda, how was your checkup? It was great. It was good. better than great. Good. Matthew, how was school? Uh, school. You are going to school already? Here? Yeah, why not? Um, as a matter of fact, I joined the debating club. I didn't know you were interested in debating. Yeah, well, I am now. <laughs> Must be a girl. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I got it. Hello? Oh, darling, you made it. Ada isn't here yet? No, you're just Good. in time. What's the news on the takeover? <clears throat> it's not going to happen, is it? Well, I'll know more in a few hours, but we're not going to think about that tonight. Tonight is for Ada. That's right. Mm -hmm. Jamie, welcome. Hi, Mac. Adam, I'm so glad <clears throat> you make it. Like you said, it's for Ada. <clears throat> Matthew? G uh, be with you in a minute, Dad. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got to go. Hey, My dad's dad. in yeah, everything's cool. Everything's cool. Right. Almost yeah. everything. Almost. Right. Okay, yeah. yeah. Fine. Yeah, yeah. I'll talk to you later when I get right. Bye. Hi, how you doing? Uh, I think we have some catching up to do. Well, I don't think, I don't think we have time. time here. Time for that. Later. Quick, everybody hide. Okay. Shh. Over no, here, no, some no, people no, over no, here. Quick, no, 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 she sees us. Shh. You wouldn't believe the traffic on the expressway. It is bumper to bumper. It's unreal. What's the matter with you? That funny look on your face. That's because I'm waiting for a surprise. <laughs> Dynasty is next. Then find out what's happening on the cul-de-sac. It's not landing, followed by Dallas. Only on Soapnet. Coming up next, keep the drama on TV. Damn it, I'm your son. With Dynasty, Knott's Landing, and Dallas, we act out. He tried to kill me. So you don't have to. Soapnet, the new way to watch soap. This spring, color that fits at Sears. are on sale, so hurry in. Sears, good life, great price. Roses are red, violets are blue. Splenda is sweet, and so are you. Almost anywhere you use sugar, you can use Splenda. The no-calorie sweetener that's made from sugar, so it tastes like sugar. And you can even bake with it. Splenda is a very good reason to do something sweet for the ones you love. Life is a work of art. Unless you have allergy eyes. Itchy, red, watery. You may need an allergy eye drop. Call now to get a free trial offer and a $10 rebate on a prescription medication that can treat all your eye allergy symptoms. Padnol. Just one drop in each eye twice a day. In minutes, you start to feel relief. There's a low incidence of headache, burning, or stinging. Wait 10 minutes before putting in contact lenses. So call this number today for an informative booklet and a $10 rebate. See your doctor about a free trial offer. Patinol Solution. Call now for fast relief of all your eye allergy symptoms. Ask your doctor about adding a drop. Patinol. 
relief is in sight. <laughs> what do you mean, surprise? You know, like when you don't know what's going on. <laughs> This is ridiculous. Why? Because it's not my birthday or anything. And what are you doing home? I thought you'd be worried sick about that takeover. I'm here, and we're all here because we want to remind you how very much we love you. Uh, and I also want to tell you personally that I am very, very happy that you've come home to us. The old place hasn't been the same since you left. It's been a lot quieter. Who likes quiet? Time of the toast, Matthew. You Dun, still da, da, da. here? Later. Thank you, darling. Thank you, sir. Wait a minute. There's no left for me here. That's right. Hilda has your soda. <laughs> oh, well, Everybody, yeah. to four generations of Corys and Davises and Fowlers. Uh, All the different people that make us what we are, a family. And the best one I know. Here, here, here. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Four generations? Wait, I only count three. <clears throat> You're not looking at the right place. <laughs> There's a lot of life in this house today, especially now. To Ada? To Ada. To Ada. Speech. 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 Oh, this is ridiculous. Oh, come on, Grandma. Come she'll come even on. say something. I don't know how I put up with any of you. You're always telling me what to do. You never do anything I tell you to do. I mean, it's enough to make a person realize how lucky I am. <laughs> I deeply love every single one of you. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Oh. Now I have the check. <laughs> hmm. Where's Cass? Hey, Frankie. Hey, it's Cass Winthrop. Yeah, yeah, right, right. It has been a long, long time. Listen, Frankie, I ran into a little financial uh, situation, if you know what I mean, not too... Yeah. Yeah, I could handle that. Right now? Right away, huh? No, 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 there's no problem. Well, this is pretty handy. Thanks a lot, Frankie. You got it. It was left at the desk, and you had already left. The nurse said it was from Lisa. Well, maybe I should. Jamie, I've decided that you were wrong. We need to be apart. Everything has gotten so complicated. I'm going away and may not return. Lisa. Well, Jamie, is everything okay? I'm not sure. Where is Jamie? My grandson, the doctor. Right. I better get back here. Sorry. Jamie. Thank you for bringing me. Okay. 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 Okay.